Hi there guys. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay now. It's going to be okay. There was a moment of the fear. Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 12.41 on February 9th, 2018. And this came from the mechanical room up on top of the building. And we don't need it anymore. But today, we've, we've been holding on to this for a few months, just hanging out. And today, the six inch coil is giving me a lot of problems. We pretty much killed the secondary on it and I don't I can wind a new secondary in time for Saturday's show because we have a winding machine and we use epoxy and this is way better but the wire is still in storage so I don't have a spool of 22 gauge magnet wire so what I'm doing instead the quick easy fix is we're going to take this motor because I don't have nearly enough fractional horsepower single phase motors sitting around which is kind of sad this is the only one we could find that's suitable because you want the flange mount base quarter horse minimum, I'd really rather this is half or three quarter, um, and single phase. And we're going to machine this into being a synchronous rotary spark gap today. So thanks to the help of me, Batman, and Joey, by the end of the day, we hope to have the better part of a synchronous rotary spark gap. At the very least, we'll have the motor ready to go. And we're, this will let us take the next step up and get the eight inch coil working, mm -hmm. which makes me happy. So if you want to send in something useful, we could really use a handful of one to, for what we're doing, I'm going to say one, three horsepower, one to three horsepower, single phase, um, flange mount base motors, this kind. Um, the best is where they have this on the end. See that? See that type of end mount? With the little screws, so, and what this lets you do is, if the motor is modified to synchronous, it lets you rotate the motor for your phase angle adjust, which is really cool. Yes, I know you can do it electronically. I, it's easier to just grab it and spin the damn thing around. But this is exactly the style of motor we want. The the cradle base that holds it on the ends, where you can rotate the motor a little bit. Single phase, 120. Rob, all good. We got it. So, yeah, if you guys want to send some in, you may have some of these laying around in your garage and we can use them really bad. Anything over a quarter horse, I'm really looking for stuff in the one to three horsepower range, but any half horse, three quarter horse, we can make use of it for smaller coils. And this is just going on an eight inch, so it'll work. Hey, Joey! I'm all wet now. Yeah. I have that effect. Yeah. Um, you're going to get to do something really cool in the milling machine today. What's that? We're going to take the armature out of this motor and cut chunks off it. Okay. And then you're going to get to do some lathe stuff. I'm going to need a rotor. We're going to make a synchronous rotary spark cap. So we're going to make this motor, which spins at about 1,725 RPM. That's what it says it is, and it actually is close to that. We're going to make it dead nuts on 1,800 RPM. And we're going to make a disc for the end that has to be balanced that'll hold tungsten electrodes. And we're going to make a little synchronous rotary spark cap. What are you cap. making the disc out of? Uh, something that doesn't conduct. Like phenolic or phenolic would be excellent. If we can find a chunk of phenolic, we can turn down on a lathe. That'd work great. Have you ever turned phenolic on a lathe? Yeah, it sucks. Yes, it does. You know what's worse? The material to be even better for that. You got a piece of G10 mm -hmm. FR4? Not Because that's that's fun. That's what I'd really like is a about a one inch thick G10 disc. Do you need anything bored? Because that, you can't really run a boring bar on that. No, nope, shouldn't. It's just got to be reasonably balanced. But I'll uh, let you examine some synchronous rotary spark cap mojo okay. so you can get an idea of what we're building. And I'm going to send you some documents and teach you how to do the flats. We'll be back. Hey, 